In China, you could fill multiple football fields. <laughs> it's that vocational, vocational expertise is very deep, very, very deep here. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the CEO of an American company praising, acknowledging the superiority in the Chinese workforce. This is disturbing for me at so many levels. So many levels, it's so disturbing because he is an American. He's stating facts. Yes, he is stating facts because he's saying that there is a fundamental lack of skilled labor in a futuristic market. He says, if we're having a meeting of tooling engineers in America, we could barely fill a room. We could fill multiple football fields. For an American audience, the smallest football stadium in America is Soldier Field in Illinois, Chicago, 64,000 seats. Multiple 64,000, I don't know, let's keep it at about two or three. You're talking about 150,000 tooling engineers, just one domain. Now, China is a country of 1.4 billion people. You could make an argument that they have the population, so they're going to have so many engineers coming out. But that's not necessarily true. And what Tim Cook is saying, out of those 350 million people, we cannot fill an office room of about 10 tooling engineers. That's what he's saying. But who is to blame for this? This is what he has said. But Tim Cook is an American with an American company. Looking at the Chinese sector, why is he not coming home and sitting with Alan Gaber and saying, Harvard University, I need you to focus because I need 250, 300 tooling engineers coming from Harvard every year.